Chess Derby. This is so great. I get to hit people. <laughs> the first time you're out there, there's a million things going through your head. You know, who is our jammer? Who is their jammer? Am I going to stay upright? Um, who's out here that wants to knock me off my feet? Um, <laughs> Are my parents watching? You know, that kind of thing. But it was, it was uh, once the adrenaline kicks in, you completely forget that the crowd is there. Um, all you're focused on is your job. And, you know, and like you're just trying to keep all of the stuff you've learned in the last like three months in your head all at the same time. But in reality, it all just kind of flies out of there and you just focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Well, she did cheer, that's her thing. She loves cheering. Here come your jammers. There's Apple Smash on the inside. Relentless on the outside. Relentless turning on the speed. Getting a big whip from Giggle Bite. Here comes Apple Smash now on the inside. Relentless still looking for him on the outside. Driven out of bounds by Ted Noble. Here comes Apple Smash on the outside. Now trying to find a way past Ken Lizzie, but Ken Lizzie's not giving up like that. What did you, uh, what did you do out there today? Uh, I was a blocker, and so my job was to stop their jammer and help mine. So um, you lay the hits and form the walls and hold the line so that their jammer can't get through. You go. Well, you know you're not up there eventually. So it's okay to start it out. You no, you gotta break those chairs in, all right? They are new, they still have that new chair smell. Oh, and Rhea Lentless taking a big hit from Chernobyl. That's gonna burn. Okay. It looks like the jammer Apple Smacks has been sent to the penalty box. Now's relentless time to shine. And Polisher states that is because she's the sole jammer now. Gonna have to fight her way past Tzilla, but that's not easy. Tzilla drives relentless out of bounds. Relentless steps back in bounds with both ways, signals her intentions, and cuts to the inside looking for room in the middle of the track. And remember, if a jammer's pushed outside of bounds, she has to go behind the speeder. She last bounds in order to get credit. Here comes relentless with the inside. How do you feel about the time you played today? Was it did you feel that you could play enough? Or did you want to play more? Or was it just I like... would always want to play more. Always. <laughs> if I could be out there constantly, every single time, that would be great. Obviously, I'd be exhausted. But no, you always want to play more. But no, it was a good learning experience. And it was just fun. I'm glad I got to play. That easy. Now emerging a reformed woman from the penalty box is Kid Lizzie, back in the hunt. Here comes Relentless on the inside, keeping her feet, looking for her on the inside. Still, she's got two players, Ida Kilder with a great hand now to beat. Here comes Ida Kilder with a big hit on Relentless. Relentless finds her way through the pack. And so ends the jam. What happened in the game today? Um, we lost to the Violent Femmes. Um, but, uh, I mean, we had a much stronger second half in our first half, which I'm sure is just first about jitters and getting used to playing together. What are the things that you're going to work on for the second bout? Wow, what, what are you going to take to practice? Um, laying harder hits um, and also uh, sticking together with someone so you form the wall because that seems to be really effective. Yay, my teammates! So, um, but that's, you know, just getting used to being with your, you know, we call them squids. Getting used to being with your squid and forming the walls to keep them behind you and that's what I'm gonna work on. What's your, what's a squid? Squid is, we are split into two squids, which is kind of like a squad, um, uh, where those are the people that you skate with on a regular basis. You know, we have a team of 20, but we have 10 people per squid. And because our squid is made up of almost everybody with the names that start with G's, we are the G-Force squid. Is that a technical term? <laughs> I think that's a Kilmore term. Oh, <laughs> so. squid, squid, is a, squid, yeah, I think that's a Kilmore thing. Okay. So it's like a hockey line. Yes. Like yeah. It's well, yeah. Well, and then we have our individual lines in our squid. What was the biggest challenge today, you think? Um, in the first half, our challenges were holding the inside line. You know, they they went there every single time and got through often. And then um you know, noticing when the jammer's coming, you know, you have to, they're so fast that you just have to be aware that all of a sudden they're right behind you and you need to keep them from scoring. That was our struggles in the first half, I believe, but we really came back and, you know, as far as the second half and trapped them and, um, and that was good because, you know, if you can't, if they don't get through, they get frustrated and, and then you're doing your job.
Is there one person on the team that's been like a mentor to you? I talked to, uh, actually like Granny Panties has given, Granny Panties and Giggle are uh, in my squid and so they've been wonderful. Um, but Freddie throughout the whole rookie process, uh, she was on the recruiting and training committee and so like getting to pay, you know, chosen and then getting to be on there has been wonderful and, and actually, you know, like Sunny is also really good for as far as, you know, what you need to be doing and, you know, what, you know, what she, she sees because she's been doing it for so long. So you know that she knows what she's talking about and so it's like I, you know, I ask her a lot of questions as well and about all of them, all of the veterans, I mean, you just watch and your jaw drops at how quick they are and how fast they can bust through. And, and were you surprised by some of the performances of the other rookies this year? Yes, it's just, I love, like, I just cheer for the rookies, you know, because we went through the rook star training together. And so, you know, we really bonded. So seeing them out there, like even on my own team and then on the other teams, you, I'm just, it's just great because you get to, you know, these people that have come through tryouts with you and who have, you know, been right there shoulder to shoulder with you through all these practices. And now you get to see them skating and, and yeah, there was like Willa Crasher was great for the Deltas and um, almost, you know, all the banger newbies are great and, and it's just, it's so fun to see. I love it. And my, obviously my fellow rookies, Razor Cakes is right over there. She did amazing today, jamming, so. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, I just like, like, to see how far everybody's come is great. And what's the thing you're looking forward to about the next bout, which is December 5th? Yes, December 5th, uh, more skating. This is so addicting. Like I thought I would be super nervous, but once you get out there, you just, you just want to skate and, uh, you know, go fast and hit people and, um, and entertain the crowd. And like we had a record crowd tonight and that's just wonderful. And I hope they all come back next time and bring more friends. Because that's what you know fuels this whole thing, and we just want the sport of roller derby to get larger and larger, and and it really seems to obviously have done that. And I know that my family is hooked now, uh, according to my mother, who loves it. And um, uh, my dad wouldn't sit by my mom because she was yelling so so loudly, so <laughs> which I love. But yeah, no, it's just great to see you know more people coming and more people loving it, and that's what it's all about. And we actually have a handshake that goes like this. <laughs> and, and that is our handshake.